Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Intellect Digest and in this video, I'll give you some hidden features of Samsung Galaxy Note 3 which are not known by many users. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 or if you are planning to buy a Note 3, this is a very useful video which you must watch. For data security of your phone or privacy of your phone, people put lock on their screens but the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 takes it to just another level. You go to device settings, lock screen settings, check the screen lock and you can lock it using a signature. Yes, you can lock it using a signature. Let me show you how it is done. So you write your signature over here and it recognizes. With three tries, you can just enter a signature and you can add a backup pin in case it is not recognizing your signature. After I add a backup pin and a signature, I can just unlock it by my signature and it works so smooth and easy. Do you like personalized messages on your phone on the lock screen just like this? You can do it very easily with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. You can go to settings, lock screen setting, personal message and you can write your message whatever you like. After I personalize my message, I can see it on the lock screen and it looks nice to see a personalized message on the lock screen for your phone. If you find your phone to be very complicated or if you want your parents to use it who are not comfortable with too many options on the screen and everywhere on the phone, you can simply do away with too many options. Just go to general settings and enable easy mode. For that you have to go to settings, device settings and scroll down to the easy mode. Once you turn it on, you will see the phone becomes a lot simpler with very few options, very large icons and you will see that there are very simple and very few options on a particular part of the screen like making phone calls, you have phones with large icons, contacts which are now larger, it looks larger, the overall interface is now different. You can just turn it off by going back to device again and turning off the easy mode. You use your phone for office as well as home purpose and you have strict security policies in office or you have confidential documents. You can use the Samsung Knox which is inbuilt which creates a new profile altogether different profile on your smartphone which is like a sandbox. You can just install Knox and after you install you will get a different screen and a different password protected environment on your phone which you can use for your official purpose while keeping the phone in a normal mode for your personal usage. You can still access the Knox mode while you are in office and accessing sensitive information using your phone. If you want to disable notifications from any particular app on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3, you just long press on the app, move it to the tab which is called App Info on the top and here you just click on this tick mark which says show notification and it will disable any notifications in future from that particular game or application on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. The contact application on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is also very interesting. It gives you some special features like searching through names, quickly contacting them and quickly calling. Let's say I am searching for a name John so I quickly scroll to J. After that I just move inside and it gives me finer refinement so I go to J O and here I get John. If I want to call John, I can just slide on this side. If I want to send him a text message, I can just slide on this side and I can directly create a text message to John by just moving that. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 also supports air gestures when it comes to gallery. Browsing through pictures is just a breeze. You just need not touch the phone when you are in gallery. Just move your hand in the direction where you want to flick pictures and you can easily flick between different pictures in your gallery without even touching the phone. To turn on this feature you have to go to settings, controls. In controls you have to go to air gestures and you have to turn on the air browse, air jump to use this feature. On the gallery application on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, you can also select what you want to show and what you want to hide from your albums. Just go to options and click on content to display. On content to display you can select whether to show the Dropbox content, Picasa content or to show all content. 
I just want the content in device to be shown so I'll just click on it and say ok it will show me only the content which is on this device and not from my cloud folders like the Dropbox or Picasa. Another interesting feature on the gallery is that you can add custom notes to the pictures. So if I click this picture and I want to associate some memory with it, I can create a photo note where I can write whatever is associated in my mind for this picture. And I can just save it. It will be saved as a note behind the photo and you can see this small peel icon here. If I click here, I can see the note. The gallery, default gallery of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 also allows me to create collage. It is very simple. Just go to any album, click on create collage, select the pictures you want to put in the collage and you can create beautiful looking collage in no time. So I select a few pictures, I select OK. And it gives me styles in which I can create collage. So there are variant styles which are preset or pre-built into the phone in which you can create a collage. I like uh, this one particularly so I can just save it and this collage is saved right inside my gallery and now I can share this on my phone to my friends using the whatsapp instant messengers or on facebook etc while we watch the video on a phone there are chances of accidentally hitting the back button or the menu button or any other button to avoid any sort of problems you can simply click on the lock button here while you are watching the video doing that will disable any sort of buttons being pressed so i just play the video and click the lock button here you will see a lock icon here and it will not affect if i accidentally hit any key now it will not stop the video to resume and go back to controls i can click on this lock icon or alternatively i can also click on the lock key over here and it will give me access to all the video controls again. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 offers an interesting feature called the safety assistance. In case you travel to places which are not very safe, you can turn on this feature by just going to settings, general setting and safety assistance. Just turn it on and you have to put some safety assistant contacts. To activate the safety assistant, you have to long press both the volume up and volume down key at the same time and you have to set some emergency contacts where you will need to enter some contact you can create up to four contacts which you would like to connect with in case of an emergency you can also enable to send pictures in which it will take pictures with front and rear camera together and it will send messages or emergency messages to your contacts when you face any sort of emergency just press the volume up and down button together for a few seconds it will take pictures from the front and rear camera will send to the contacts that you have already set you can add up to four contacts in the emergency safety assistant list what if it is snowing outside and you have your phone in your hand and you have to use it urgently you have to remove your gloves to use the phone but not anymore you can just go to settings in settings you go to controls scroll to the bottom you see the increased touch sensitivity just stick it on after you have it on you can use your phone even with the gloves on the samsung galaxy note 3 comes with usb 3.0 cable which is a wider connector compared to the previous cables that we have seen but interestingly you can connect any standard micro usb cable to charge the samsung galaxy note 3 and it will connect it will transfer data as well as charge the phone but it may not be as fast as the usb 3.0 cable which we use on the samsung galaxy note 3 for data transfer or charging samsung galaxy note 3 also supports usb host or on the go cable you can buy a small on the go cable like this online this will come for around one to two dollars attach a pen drive on the other end and you can simply attach it to your samsung galaxy note 3 once you attach it you will see a usb connected notification on the top and it will show you what all is there inside the pen drive so you can play the music you can use to browse the files etc on the pen drive on your samsung galaxy note 3 not only does the note 3 support USB pen drives you can also connect external USB mouse and a keyboard using a wireless adapter like this you just connect it using the USB OTG cable and you are good to start using a normal mouse as a mouse pointer let me zoom closer to the screen and I can start typing using my standard keyboard
We hope you like our tips and tricks videos. Please don't forget to press the like button below. For more such videos, stay subscribed by pressing the subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Purana signing off. Thanks for watching.